Hi everybody, Lorraine here from Morrison Sons and I'm having a chat with Tal, our resident yarn expert. And today we're talking all things Schopel, especially these gorgeous Perlin colors. Now, everyone's been into the store and seen them in the shelves. They look stunning, but what actually are they and how do you use them? Hi, um, yes, so the beauty of these are they're 100% wool, which means that um, it's lovely to wear, comfy on the skin. Mm -hmm. Also, um, they're, they're super wash, which also means that if you're doing anything, say for a little kid's jumper or something to nice. do with a kid's garment, beautiful, easy to wash in the machine and comes up beautifully. Um, and what's beautiful about them is you've got the two bold colors, but then you've got this sort of mix of the yellow and orange, all tonally and gradient. So that whatever you're doing, you can mix it up with say a white and have like a little, child's jacket with white with these colors nice. striping yeah. without you having to think about how they work you just pull out each ball and off you go uh, also scarves and shawls come up beautifully crochet knitting add another color to it which will be lovely so you can add sort of even a contrast of a darker orange or a, a lighter yellow to bring it to, to add to this but just yeah they just gorgeous they look beautiful the colors are beautiful and vibrant so vibrant yeah. um, and they're just just yummy so yes so tell uh, what ply are these and what uh, needles these for? are these are classify as a fingering weight four ply um, really lovely and soft and I would probably recommend maybe a three three and a half but most anything that you use a four ply four you could use the needles according to what the pattern asks for so generally between three three and a half if you wanted to Fantastic. Lovely finish. And mm. can we open this one up and just yeah, sure. see what actually mm -hmm. is going on here? Yep. Okay. We'll do that. Oh, oh so there's an elastic oh, that holds all the colors together. Oh, we've yes. lost one, yeah. everybody. <laughs> Lovely. So there we go. Okay. Nice. Look at that. They're mm. so, they really are like mini little pearls. Oh, I love gorgeous. it. So we've got our solid. Lovely. Right. Okay. Yes. So we've got our two solids and then they very carefully cleverly mm. mix those colors so that we get yes. a gradient and i think if it if it makes i think it's got about five or 400 400 meters so what would that mean that each one would have one uh, two three four five six seven. you're really testing me here as yeah, well. I'm, I'm gonna have to get the calculator on <laughs> I mean, maybe 25 <laughs> per something like that but yeah but we yes i think definitely it can work with many different things so if you add a bold color throughout those you'll do a lovely stripey job with it just gorgeous gorgeous Very beautiful. and i'm even thinking mm. about mm. that stunning garter stitch jacket that we've oh, got yep. a pattern for yeah absolutely i think these would work really well absolutely we'll give it a go and see we, we'll go we'll, we'll do a test knit yeah. with that one great in idea the, in the four ply okay. for little babies with beautiful bright orange buttons when you finished it Lovely. stunning yeah and we're actually really lucky that one of our um, expert crochet customers, Anisha, has very kindly made a sample for us in all of these colours so that we can see how they all work together and really inspire us and how we can make this gradient look exciting in a sample. We're talking all things Schopel and I think we're currently looking at the Zoberbol cotton. Cotton, yes. This is another product that we haven't had in the shop, so it's quite um, new to Zaberball. It's been around for a while. But what's beautiful about cotton is it's lovely to wear, so you don't have that sort of itchy factor that some people find with wool. So number one, this is the yarn. Um, the beauty of this is you can buy it with a slightly just gentle tonal gradient, so that's this one over here, or you can be quite crazy and go into sort of here, you've got your green, your aqua, your pink, yellow so it can be just really interesting and, and fun to knit with and you really don't know from each time you do another layer ah, yes. you don't actually know what's in there so that's where the fun happens. That makes for a really interesting yeah. knit right? Absolutely and it's just a, again usually a gorgeous scarf some sort of a scarf would be gorgeous in this but also children's garments and things little baby things something that you want that's really bright and happy and fun. absolutely and fun. cotton it's yeah. just great for our australian climate oh, isn't it absolutely and it's about a four ply so you can mix your needles up probably three to five three three and a half anything in that range but lorraine's wearing something that's really lovely I am. so whenever mm. this yarn came in i was instantly uh, i gravitated towards this one because i thought that would be a great unisex yarn i wanted to make something for my husband so i actually mixed it with our morrison sons avalon uh four ply um, so one ball of this 
uh, you'll need three balls of the Avalon and I knit the hitchhiker and the reason I did the hitchhiker was because I was going on a camping trip and I wanted something very easy to knit mm -hmm. that I could sit at the campfire and talk to my friends but still be knitting away and this is the result so we've got a beautiful blended color gradient with the Avalon color that's constant throughout and what I really love about it is it's unisex so my husband and I share this scarf which is really nice so I'll just take the scarf off so you can take a look at it um, and again because it's in cotton it's really lovely and, and cool um, so it's a, bit, it's a bit cooler today um, and it's just very nice. And Look at the shade, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so we see the blue. And each ball has 420 metres, so one ball goes quite a long mm, way. Mm. Yeah, that's lovely. And we are just about to look at the Chopal Gradient yarn. And I mean, look at all the colours here. There's literally a rainbow of colours. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, what do you suggest that hope that we do with this towel? Um, look, it's a stunning yarn again, and you can get a collection of shades. So if you want something more sombre, you'll have this tone happening here, which is just shades of mm. light grey to dark grey. But if you want something oh, really handy. crazy, yeah, the... you've got your pink yeah. and your aqua blue. So it really depends. I've got a customer that loves this yarn, and she tends to make uh, just, just the gradient. So she just loves... The, the colours sort of do their own thing. So you don't actually have to do much to it. Nice. You just knit away and you get these beautiful so colours coming up. Perfect for an easy knit. Absolutely. And yeah. also um, she generally gives to people that really find wool a bit scratchy. So this okay. is quite soft. Yeah. The nice thing about this one is it's also designed, it's got like a strange texture initially. I noticed that. It looks very different. He's the first, the German guy that's designed this. Um, it makes for very easy felting. So if you were doing a project and one of our customers did a collection of beautiful knitted flowers right, okay. and then she felted them and it was stunning. And it's in the washing machine, hot water, it'll Clever. felt yeah. instantly, which means that it is very much a hand wash only. Just be very careful with it. If you put it in the machine, it will felt. Mm, but it yeah. is 100% wool. It knits up sort of like a... Worsted to 10 ply, but if you wanted to, you could fiddle with your needles and turn it into an 8 ply, or you can use a slightly bigger needle and just make it a bit looser. So, really and truly, lots of possibilities. Mm. But just it's all about the color. Once again, Stunning. you cannot, these colors are just they just jump out. You know? Well, I know our Melbourne store staff have been really clever and they've used one ball of this to knit an easy double knit scarf and they actually right. used six like millimeter needles. Rib? Was it a rib It was stitch? a rib, yeah. Nice. So you just okay. got that beautiful rib texture with the gradient mm. going through it. Sounds lovely. And because they've used six millimeter needles, it's slightly looser. So yep. again, you get, I mean, yep. it's up to up to yep. the customer to decide yep. what needles they'd like to use for whatever yep. look they like. And it so probably we... goes a bit further too yes, by using yeah. a bigger needle. Yeah, yeah. of yep. course. Yeah. Fun, Lovely. I love it. Mm. And I'm having a chat uh, with Tal about the Zoberball Stark 6 yarn. Correct, yes, Stark. It's um, what it's designed for is for socks, but the beauty of the yarn, it's very similar to the Zebra Ball Crazy or just a Zebra Ball. Um, so, a similar structure, I think it's got a tiny bit of polyamide, 25%, 80% wool, but it goes forever. So, we've designed a few patterns in it. Um, one ball will make a beautiful scarf nice and yes. so you you're looking at i think it's 36 dollars a ball whatever so it comes out beautifully mm. um and again with those beautiful tones happening it's just got a lovely finish to it so you're getting all these different shades coming through on the one ball so i think it's actually more interesting too as you're knitting you're coming across all different colors yeah so, that makes it fun yes yeah and our melbourne team have done a really great job knitting it into the ripple stitch scarf yeah. which looks fantastic because yeah. not only have you got the mix of colors but you've got that beautiful textured stitch yeah. going yeah. through it and we also did a scarf called the basket weave and again one ball beautiful scarf lots of gorgeous shades so you can make it bright or very tonal darker nice yep and what needle size would you suggest for this yarn? I think with that one, I'm pretty sure we used a, what did we use on this one? So, uh, yeah, so size four. Four. And I feel like the other one, the ripple, was also in size four. Yeah, yeah but I think it's one of those yarns, it, it's classified as a six ply, but if you wanted, you can turn it into a four. You can, you can, you can play, play around. around with it. Yes, Absolutely. yes, yeah.